My guidebook tells me that two lines of European steamers now start from Baltimore's harbour. And through her two great arteries of traffic, the Baltimore and Ohio and the Northern Central Railroads, the city is successfully competing for the trade of the North and Northwest. As the United States expanded to the West, some statesmen feared that the country was becoming too big and would fall apart. But the railroads seem to offer the solution. As settlers spread westward, connections with those remote territories became increasingly important. One railroad originating in Baltimore rose to the challenge. I've arranged a meeting with David Shackelford, chief curator of the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad Museum. Dave, hello. How are you? We meet in a spectacular roundhouse. I mean, I assume it's an old turntable, but built on the grand scale. Oh, grand scale indeed. I mean, this is truly a crown jewel in Baltimore's railroad history. And this particular roundhouse was built in 1884 and was designed as a passenger car uh, roundhouse. Now, what was the origin of the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad? Well, the origin dates back to the 1820s, and it's a pretty significant period in Baltimore's history because it's a rival seaport. So it's battling against New York, Boston, Charlestown, uh, Philadelphia, and basically it's all about commerce, moving things from the interior of the United States to the port and then out. So they had known of this thing called a railroad in England, and they decided to basically do the next best thing to invent it yourself is steal that, bring it to the United States, and basically build their own railroad. So the Baltimore and Ohio is actually chartered in the 1820s before the Liverpool to Manchester Railway is opened, which is reckoned to be the first intercity railway. But I take it that it's not opened before that one. Uh, construction begins July 4th, 1828, and it would actually begin service in 1830. So at that point, it's, it's kind of interesting because there's only 23 miles of rail in the entire country, and 13 miles would run from Baltimore to a little town named Ellicott's Mills, Maryland. So in the grand scheme, 23 miles would grow to hundreds of thousands of miles.